I'm the Caesar II product owner. Um, I get the lucky task of representing users and um, acting as the liaison between the development team uh, and product management and customers. Uh, so I get to interact with a little bit of everyone who's involved in the Caesar II product. Caesar II is the leading pipe stress analysis software uh, application. Uh, we've been out for many years. Um, it's actually known to be the standard in the industry. Uh, people have come to learn that they can trust Caesar II um, to go by the pipe code standards as well um, as having a number of industry experts um, that, that go about training uh, customers out in the field and teaching people about what the latest uh, standards are for pipe stress analysis. I think one of the greatest things about Caesar II is our, our, our customers and also our dealer network. Um, so I'm able to interact um, and have a very active user group community. Um, in addition, we have um, users all over the world who uh, communicate regularly with us. So I'm able to find out what the customers are needing in the software, especially when you're in a downturned economy, um, priorities change. So I'm able to speak with them more directly, have a lot of customer interaction, but also use our dealers to find out in different regions what's becoming important for our users. Quality is very important to the Caesar II product team. Our development team actually um, has some really strict quality standards that we follow, including um, having to do with testing the product, um, making sure we've thought of every scenario um, possible to ensure safety. Um, we're actually entering the nuclear industry now. We've had a successful nuclear audit, um, bringing on nuclear clients, so it becomes more important than ever that we are following um, the code standards to a T, um, and our customers have that assurance that we follow uh, safety standards with the software. What I enjoy most about being in product management is getting that direct interaction with users. Um, I have come from a communications background, and so just finding out what the customer's needs are, looking at our development cycle, and being able to work those in, and then have a user whose job um, has become more seamless and easy based on uh, information I've collected and then worked into the software, that's very gratifying. Caesar II um, supports a wealth of different piping code standards, also equipment standards. Um, we have wind and wave load coding standards as well. Um, and, and I think our product has become well known for um, having experts that keep up with um, the code standards as they change over the years. We have several members of our team that are on code standard committees. So, so we have um, one member that's on the ASME code committee. Um, in some ways, our customers rely on that and expect that, so they come to us to know what the latest is in, in the code standards, and they know that our software is going to represent that. Um, we have some competitors that don't always follow the code standards. They have an assurance to know that we follow them closely, so um, when they are working a job, they have the latest code standards represented in the software. We have a really exciting group of product leaders right now in the company who are all kind of working together to build integration. Um, and, and innovation comes from that. There's a lot of creative ideas out there, ways that we can integrate between our products. Um, and when that all comes together, it, the only person that benefits from that is the customer. Because our, our product has been the industry standard for a while, um, there is a quiet confidence to it. Uh, customers um, know um, our product management, they know our development leaders. Um, a great many people on the team, uh, technical experts, have been here for many years. They know the product inside and out, and they also communicate regularly with customers. So if a customer has an issue and reaches out, they might talk to a support person, but they might also hear from one of our product leaders, one of our technical architects, directly. Um, our team really cares about the quality of the product, and because of that, um, we're able to engage with the users quite often. So I think that builds a, a, an assurance with our customers that, that we're listening and we're going to take into account if they find an issue with the software. Um, we're going to look at that and try to fix that issue as quickly as we possibly can.